Well, good evening again, everyone. Since making two straight playoff trips back in 2009 and 2010, Camel Memorial has been in a little bit of a playoff drought. And to make matters a little bit worse, the Red Devils have lost 22 of their last 30 games dating back to 2013. But last year was an improvement for Camel, who now hopes to take the next step and grab a winning season. Ed Rosen is in his third season during his latest stint at Camel. He has seven starters returning on each side of the ball, including Yanni Kulius, who is back for his senior season. Also back to pave the way up front is Ignatius Horvath, who was an all-AAC selection a year ago. The Red Devils are focused on making sure teams remember who they play on Friday nights. I want teams to look at us and, and be impressed by the physicality of the team. I think that's the thing, both offensively, uh, defensively, defensive line, linebackers, that's everybody. Uh, we've got to get physical, and, and, and uh, we've got the strength to do that, and just a matter of you know, whether we have the mentality or not. And most of us have been starting since we first got into high school. Just put us in there right then, so we have the experience. Um, we're all fast, we're all strong, we've been working in the weight room. No rest for the wicked out of the gate for the Red Devils. They'll be traveling to Lakeview to open the Bulldogs' new stadium in week one. Of course, the Bulldogs, a playoff team from a year ago. The end of the season, it shapes up pretty well for Campbell. Two out of three at home against Champion and Newton Falls. Both those teams did not make the playoffs last year and also had a trip to Brookfield mixed in there on the road. All 7 p.m. starts for the Red Devils.